Good morning, South Florida. Welcome to another edition of UM's Frost Jazz Hour, right here on WDNA 88.9 FM, the home of serious jazz. My name is Chuck Bergeron. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for tuning into the program. A very special welcome to our live studio audience. And a very special welcome this morning to my friend and colleague and co-host, Professor Tim Smith. You know that each week at this time we bring you a great variety of talent from the highly acclaimed Frost School of Music. Incredible student groups, faculty, alumni, the dean. We have a very special group here this morning, uh, coached by a very special uh, faculty member that we love so much. Mr. Errol Rakopoff is here with his Odd Times Ensemble. And um, we're going to let Errol explain uh, the, the impetus for this ensemble, the direction of this ensemble, and maybe a little bit about his background. And also, Errol, welcome to the program. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Chuck, Tim. Good morning. Um, well, a few years ago, um, the faculty and I decided to start this um, ensemble, uh, primarily because there's so much interest in the so-called odd times, or, well, the irregular, the not-so-usual beats and grooves that are in, um, in 7, in 9, and 11, and so on. Um, which, uh, honestly, is not that much unusual for the um, Eastern Europeans and certain parts of the world, but apparently they're very strange sounding like for the um, Western Europeans and Americans. Um, the beginning of this goes all the way back to even Dave Brubeck, uh, who was inspired to go around the world and um, simply, you know, put everything that he hears into into his compositions, and next trip that he went to Turkey, Istanbul, he heard a bunch of musicians playing in five and seven. He was completely mind-boggled, and he wanted to incorporate this into his music. And that's how you know his first Take Five was born, which, strangely enough, is one of the most popular jazz tunes. <laughs> um, then, of course, Don Ellis, with his um, very unusual combination of odd meters inspired by the Bulgarian uh, piano player, jazz piano player, Mitchell Lviv and on and on and on. Even Pat Metini um, has some very unusual combination of rhythms. Uh, we're gonna perform one tune by Abishai Cohen, the famous bass player. Uh, also Dave Holland has been experimenting for a long time with uh, odd meters. So apparently it's not that unusual nowadays. Um, and we decided to um, kind of introduce our students with this ensemble that we offer each semester where they can get more and more comfortable and I always tell them at the beginning, the first class, um, I know you guys, that, that sounds very strange today, but three months from now, four months from now, you're gonna be very, very comfortable with this. And we haven't failed yet. So uh, I think that will be a great testament today, see if, uh, how they do. That's great, thank you, Errol. We're excited to hear this. We've got a great program of music this morning. And just before we get started, I wanna let everybody know, we are in the last few hours of our pledge drive. Um, all of the great music you hear here and um, the great live streaming that we do, all of that is funded by you, our donors, our listeners, and we have a couple of very special deals today. My friend Tim Smith is going to be telling you about something later called the Procrastinator Package, um, which is perfect especially for me. <laughs> uh, but I just want to let you know, there's an incredible trip. If you've never been to Denver, uh, there's a great club there called Dazzle. And um, Dazzle is a fun place to play. It's a fun place to hear music. And New Orleans legend, great trumpet player Kermit Ruffins is going to be out there. And we have um, a VIP Denver jazz getaway. Your contribution to our pledge drive today in any amount will enter you to win the Denver Jazz Getaway. It's a pair of VIP passes to KUVO Jazz Radio's premier concert. It'll be at the Vineyard with Kermit Ruffins, and there'll be a night out at Dazzle, and a two-night stay at a gorgeous boutique hotel called The Magnolia. So put in your pledge drive today, and. Uh, be entered to win this incredible Denver Jazz Getaway. And of course, you can pledge now by calling 305-662-8889 or give online, totally secure, at WDNA.org. So call us with your pledge now. But let's get on to some music. How about the first composition this morning by the Odd Times Ensemble called Juggler's Parade. What is it? Parade. Juggler's Parade. And you're listening to this music this morning on the Frost Jazz Hour. Thank you. 
That's Juggler's Parade by the great bassist Dave Holland, great composer, great friend. He's a, he's a wonderful guy. He's been down here for us as a clinician several times. Great group, Valentina Shelton on piano, Blake Aldridge on bass, Chandler Bogomolny on drums, Isaac Guido on sax, and Jared Dollarbrook, Dollarbrook on trumpet, flugelhorn. It's great to have you guys here under the direction of the great Errol Rakipov. Let me tell you, first of all, we're very happy to announce that uh, Dr. David Newman and the Functional Medicine Miami have made a donation today during this hour. That's great. We appreciate all that. We have $900 more we'd like to raise this hour. So everybody that's listening, jump in with us, make an investment in great music. Uh, I know we've got uh, five young musicians here. Hopefully their families are live streaming <laughs> this concert. So you don't have to be in Miami to make a donation to keep this program going. We've had parents tell us it's great to be able to hear their kids on the radio. It makes them feel closer to home. So we're really glad to have you here. Uh, we have a special incentive for you who are waiting to the last day. Tomorrow will be the last day of this pledge drive, and we call it the Procrastinator Pack. <clears throat> In it, you'll find Lee Morgan, Midtown Blues, Chet Baker, Cool Jazz, and your I Love WDNA license plate frame. Pick up the Procrastinator Music Pack now with your contribution of $120 because the drive ends tomorrow. Don't worry, we all pr procrastinate at some point, but give now because you're running out of time. You can give online at WDNA.org or by calling 305-662-8889. Up next, I think we have uh, Abishai Cohen, who's another bassist. Uh, that's, I, I think bassists were just odd, so maybe that's why we write in odd times. <laughs> but uh, I love the way you said it, though. Uh, uh, it, it is not odd to many, many cultures. This music is, uh, I remember working with uh, uh, Alex Acuna, the great oh, yeah. percussionist, and he was doing something on the hi-hat that was like, what are you doing? And he goes, rub your stomach and sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. <laughs> and I did. He goes, that's all I'm doing. He said, this is nursery rhymes we heard in the cradle. Right. So the familiarity for odd times for them is, is a whole different thing. But it's great to have this group of students uh, really playing it great. Yeah, I, I love it. Fantastic job, yeah. You just have to jump in with both feet and, and start listening and, and playing. It's wonderful. Uh, so next we're going to hear uh, an Abishai Cohen song called Seven Seas. Yes, another um, great tune and a you know, pretty hard tune. Abishai is uh, very famous for oh, it, absolutely. with his uh, complex uh, patterns and uh, yet they, somehow they make it sound easy. So let's just hope uh, we can do the same thing. Abishai Cohen with his tune Seven Seas.
Seven Seas. The Odd Times Ensemble. We'll be back with more music in just a couple of minutes. All right. <laughs> nice. Welcome back. Each and every Thursday at 11 a.m., the Frost Jazz Hour brings you talents from across the jazz spectrum for your listening and viewing pleasure, thanks to our video live stream. Artists like film composer James Newton Howard, Grammy Award-winning trumpeter Brian Lynch, Grammy Award nominee and jazz piano virtuoso Shelley Berg, our dean, and jazz icon Kenny Barron are just some of the amazing artists who have crossed these airwaves. Whether you are streaming live from somewhere around the globe or tuning in via your radio, you depend on the UM Frost Jazz Hour each and every Thursday at 11 to provide you with the best of jazz. Please make a contribution in return. Perhaps $20 a month as a sustaining member works for you. Donate at WDNA.org or by calling 305-662-8889. I'm joined right now by our drummer today, Chandler, and our bassist, Blake. Uh, two of my particular favorite students, along with everybody in this group. Uh, but I want to ask you both, from the rhythm section standpoint, uh, what's the biggest challenge with playing in odd times for you, especially this, this type of music? Abishai's tune there was really complex. How, how, do you, how do you approach that, Blake? We'll start with you. Well, for me personally, um, I, I started off by trying to count every eighth note, and I realized very quickly that that was not going to work at all. So it's really about feeling the bigger framework mm -hmm. of the beat rather than trying to feel each individual, each individual beat. You're just not going to get away with it. You have to feel it as like a bigger grouping. As Errol told us in classes, um, the Eastern European cultures use the short and long Mm -hmm. way so when you just when instead of thinking just numerically just have it more of a feel that's absolutely that's how i would have to approach it chandler how about you 
Maybe the most difficult part for me is keeping my ears open, because I think actually playing the grooves requires a greater amount of focus than playing in 4-4. So being able to listen to the comping and listen to the soloist is definitely more of a challenge. I think something that Errol could also share with you is people dance to this music. Mm -hmm. So if you think about, uh, as in our culture, we dance because there's this repetitive 4-4 four, four groove or even 3-4 for a waltz type thing. The, they're, they're dancing in 11, they're dancing in 15, and they're dancing to those larger things. Some people, Billy Ward has a great line, he calls it big time. Mm -hmm. So instead of thinking about the individual groupings, you're thinking about this larger, long group, then a short group, then a long group, then a short group. But you guys are handling it great. Uh, I think up next we're going to hear an arrangement of yours, Chandler, correct? This is true. What song is it? We're going to do Up Jump Spring by Freddie Hubbard. Great. This is one of my favorite tunes, and, and it, so it's going to be an odd time, though. I guess we'll find out. We'll find out how odd it gets. <laughs> so Chandler and Blake from Errol Rakapoff's Odd Times Ensemble, and uh, this is Up Jump Spring, which is, by the way, is a Freddie Hubbard jazz standard. Uh, normally, it's a 4-4 four, four tune. Something that happens with this kind of music as you become challenged by it is you take songs that are normally not done in an odd time, and you rearrange it and, uh, and feel it in a different way, and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So here is the Odd Times Ensemble with Up Junk String. Mm-hmm. 
Up jump spring. Great arrangement by Chandler Bogboni. It's wonderful. We just had a, uh, a nice uh, donation from Plano, Texas, from Vincent. So we want to say thank you for that. Our bassist is from there, and I hope our live stream is coming through loud and clear there. We have $840 left to raise this hour, so get with the program, folks. Big numbers add up faster, too, by the way. So um, Again, this pledge drive is about paying for quality. It's about investing in great music and the opportunity for young people like this to come perform. Isaac, while you're walking, come up here and have a seat with me. Uh, Valentina, come join us too for a second. Our, our next song is going to be I Remember You, which uh, I think is your arrangement, Valentina, yes. correct? Yes, it is. Oh, wonderful. Another great standard. Uh, Isaac, I pulled up because I have had Isaac in jazz ensembles and R&B ensemble, and now mm -hmm. to hear him here in odd times. Uh, you've had quite an adventure at the Frost School of Music, haven't you? Yeah, that's one thing. One thing that you get at the Frost School is you get to do a lot of different things, and that's yeah, it's crazy, but <laughs> well, it, it's wonderful to have you here. You've uh, it's just a, he's, you've been a joy to have as a student, and, and mm -hmm. you've paid attention, and you're just growing in so many in many ways. It's wonderful to hear. Valentina, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Los Angeles. It was my first time in Florida <laughs> this year. Well, you made a good choice to come here. I think so. I, there are a few you. schools in Los Angeles, but we we don't talk about them. So. We came here. Yeah, I'm yes. glad you're here. Uh, tell me about this arrangement. Well, this arrangement, this tune is going to be in seven. It's originally in four. And I think the, the hardest thing for me um, as a vocalist is that um, if the tune doesn't make sense, the lyrics, if the story doesn't make sense when you put it in these odd meters, then why are you putting it in these odd mm -hmm. meters? And this song totally changes the way uh, you phrase. And sometimes the unimportant words are left on half notes and longer notes, and that doesn't make sense. So I really have to work on telling the story, and then it gets me totally out of like That happens the same in, in all right. music. If we start stressing the unimportant syllables, yeah. it's like... So it makes me work twice as hard to get the it, point across to get the well, story. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing this. And on the last tune also, Jared and Isaac and Valentina all had to improvise in odd times. That's a completely different set of challenges than just playing the song at an odd time. Because you have to think, how does this phrase work? by adding extra eighth notes to it. Yeah. So wonderful job for all of you. Well, let's hear I Remember You with uh, Valentina. Are you singing on yeah, this one? Yeah, I'll be singing. Wonderful, playing piano and singing. Yes, sir. Thank you. Again, uh, if, if you're listening to this show right now, you know it's the Frost Jazz Hour. Uh, your wonderful contributions make shows like this possible. And uh, to, to have these students and our live audience get to experience this music live is just a wonderful thing. So thank you. Please. Please donate 305-662-8889 or securely online at WDNA.org. Here's I Remember You. You're the one who made my dreams come true a few kisses ago. I remember you. You're the one who said I love you too. Well, I do, didn't you know? I remember two distant bells and stars that fell like rain out of the blue. When my life is through And the angels ask me to recall The thrill of them all See, I shall tell them I I remember you I do ba do da do 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 da 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 Oh, 
my dreams come true a few kisses ago. I remember you. You're the one who said I love you too. Well, I do, didn't you know? I remember too distant bells and stars that fell like rain out of the blue. So when my life is through, Valentina Shelton, beautiful, beautiful job. Uh, your contribution at any amount for this pledge drive today enters you to win a Denver Jazz getaway with one pair of VIP passes to KUVO Jazz Radio's premier concert and party, live at the Vineyard with New Orleans legend Kermit Ruffins. Your trip includes airfare for two, a two-night stay at the boutique Magnolia Hotel, and a night out at Dazzle, Dem downtown Denver's most swinging jazz club. We'd like to thank our sister jazz station, KUVO, we're giving away this awesome, pass excuse me, this awesome package tomorrow, so make sure you get into the drawing. Donate online at WDNA.org or at 305-662-8889. Finally, I'm joined by Jared, our flugelhorn player today. Thank you, Tim. Beautiful playing. Thank right? you so Sounds much. Great. So what was your challenge for, for odd, odd meters? Were you used to playing this kind of music, or is this new No, this is new for me. In fact, I'm so blessed to even be a part of this band. I'm, I'm a senior, and I'm a music business major, so I don't always have the opportunity of being part of every ensemble here at Frost, but I'm so lucky to be a part of it. And it's what's so unusual, and the biggest challenge is sometimes with the, the song that you just heard with I Remember You, you're here, normally you're thinking of it, when I hear the, the Frank Ilfeld version or the, uh, the Chet Baker version, mm -hmm. you're thinking of it in four, but you have to think of the, the three in, the, in, in a different way and you're trying to relearn the song in a different way and it's, just, it's been very cool. I'm, I'm very blessed to be part of this. Well, I'm, I'm glad you feel that. What's interesting about this is the next time you play this song, it's gonna feel weird to you being in four. 100%. I, I've done these songs before, I've done songs in odd times and then you go back and you play it in regular four four, it's like, wait a minute, this isn't right. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, it, it is the old way of being right. But what you just mentioned too, that's part of the vision of our dean, uh, music business, music engineering majors, whatever you might be, we hope to break the walls down here and give you opportunities yeah. to play in these things. Because if you're, uh, whatever your next step is in life, if you're better prepared, then it, it looks good for all of us. Absolutely, and Frost School of Music is only one of a handful of schools in the country to even offer a combined music business program, right. which is why for, I'm, I'm from Los Angeles, just like Valentina, and when I was looking at going to music school for, for college, this was an obvious choice to look at. I'm very, I'm very glad to be here. Well, we're really glad to have you here, and you, you've been a, thank a you, great Tim. addition to so much music here, so thank you, Jared. Uh, our next song is arranged by Isaac Guido, our saxophonist, and it's one of my all-time favorite songs. Smoke gets in your eyes. I have no idea what time signature you're going to do this in. I guess I'll be counting and guessing as we go, but great, great song. Been recorded by everyone from Patty Austin to Frank Sinatra and Ella Fitzgerald. Just a great piece of work. This is the Odd Times Ensemble with Smoke Gets in Your Eyes. They asked me how I knew my true love was true I of course replied That's something deep inside Cannot be denied They they said one day you'll find that all who love are blind. Cause when your heart's on fire, you must realize smoke gets in your eyes. them and I gaily laughed to think 
think they could doubt my love. Yet today I find my love has flown and I'm without my love. Now my laughing friends derive tears I cannot hide. And so I smile and say, when a lovely flame dies, smoke gets in your eyes. was true I of course replied that something deep inside cannot be denied they said one day you'll find that all who love are blind Cause when your heart's on fire You must realize Smoke gets in your eyes So I chat them And I gaily laugh They could doubt my love. Yet today I find my love has flown, and I'm without my love now. Friends deride tears I cannot hide. And so I smile and say, The 
that when a lovely flame dies, smoke gets in your Great song, great job. Blake, it looks like you're, we got more from Plano, Texas. We got Tom with two M's, also from Plano, Texas. Special thanks to you. We now are uh, $740 away from our goal, but we're gonna get there. Alex, what, you, what are you pointing at me? We're gonna close with one last song written by our very own Errol Rakopov. I wanna thank Errol for bringing this wonderful group today. And, it's great to share this music with a little different twist than, than we hear every day here in Miami. So. Thank you. Thank you, Tim, and thank you to WDNA for the opportunity to expose our audience around the world and, of course, give the students of Frost School of Music opportunity to perform and share their great art and their talent with everybody around it, the world. It's a, it's a great treat. So this is The Other Wrong Way written by Errol Rakopov. This is the Odd Times Ensemble. Thank you to our studio mm -hmm. audience and our listeners.